Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you something that has occurred only a few times in the last 70 years. What you see behind me is the water coming over the dam at Norse Dam. This is a rare occurrence. At this time, I don't know how many times and uh, what years that uh, the TVA released water over the dam, but I'll uh, get that information and put it into the information portion of this video. I was talking to these two gentlemen here. They're both retired from TVA, and this is James H. Knight, Jr., correct? And this is James L. Red Thompson. And I was asking these gentlemen about uh, when they, it's been a, a rare occurrence that water has spilled over the dam. And you all are doing that today, is that correct? That's correct. How long y'all been with TVA? I, I worked with TVA 40 years. Mm -hmm. I started to work in 1948 young electrical engineer graduate from Auburn. Auburn University. And uh, came to work in an organization of TVA that's called Electrical Laboratory and Test Branch, mm -hmm. where we did field tests of, of equipment. Well, when did you retire, Ed? In 1988. 1988? 40 years I spent with TVA. I retired as a Assistant Director of Power System Operations. Well, that's a, that was an interesting job, I'd say. I like to say that we kept the lights on. <laughs> and James, uh -huh. uh, how long were you with TVA? I was with TVA for 41 and a half years. What department did you work in? I worked in power engineering construction, and I retired as superintendent of power engineering construction. Mm -hmm. We put all the transmission lines and the towers and substations and everything for TVA. And uh, I started uh, in uh, 1939 and uh, uh, went into the service. Uh, I volunteered, I was working for the government, TVA, mm -hmm. and I didn't have to go because I was working on a government project. Exactly. Old Coy number two up in, uh, out of uh, Parksville, out of mm -hmm. Benton, Tennessee. And, uh, but I wanted to go and I uh, joined the Navy in uh, February the 16th, 1942. Mm -hmm. And I served three and a half years and come out and uh, started right back up on my job and everything. Of course, I wasn't superintendent then. When I right, came back, exactly. I, I started up. Well, back. how did you, did you do in the Navy basically what you did for the TDI? I was uh, on a ship and uh, I went in the Navy as an electrician mate. First class, uh, not the first class, excuse me. I went in as a third class electrician mate. And when I uh, left the Navy, I made first class uh, electrician mate. And I was on the USS Whitley, AKA 91. We uh, traveled by ourselves. We couldn't travel in the convoy. It was an ammunition ship. Mm -hmm. and we blew all, blew right. all the other ships up. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to travel a zigzag course behind everybody, uh, uh, probably a day behind everybody. And we went in on the Battle of Iwo Jima, the island, the Japanese island over there. And we took uh, the Marines, it took us 19 days to get to uh, Iwo Jima, and we had 25 Marines and 25 dogs. We trained, uh, or the Marines trained the dogs on the ship to right. Iwo Jima and everything, but we lost every one of them. We had Higgins boats on the ship. There. Right on. And then they had 300 foot of, of uh, beach on Iwo Jima, right. and that sage grass was up about three foot high at the end of this 300 foot. They waited till our dogs and Marines got within 100, 125 feet of that safe grass and they mowed everyone. We lost every, every Marine and every dog uh, right there. Well, I thank you all for your service to the Tennessee Valley Authority and also your service to the, to the country. My name is Warren Bolton. Good Christian man. Amen, brother. <laughs> uh, I was here when they first started building this place. 
I didn't work here now. I was a small boy. But when, the, when they closed the gates, Roosevelt from the White House pushed the button and closed the gates here. The sirens went off over the people here working and everybody else. And now his wife, she was here at the top of that uh, bridge right there. There's a trailer. They had, a, they had a cable about two inches in diameter. It was anchored off from this side of the mountain until that side of the mountain. And that's where they, they haul material back and forth here. And Miss Roseville, she rode that cable across and she wanted to ride and they let her ride it. You don't know how many times they've uh, had the water to come across throughout the years, do you? You know... Well, it was 40 years before the first time it ever filled oh, up. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, and uh, this year it makes about the sixth or seventh time since... In about 70 years. Yes. Is that correct? Got that much water, yeah. Well... Because they, uh, they hold this water back, which goes down through Milton Hill, down, down there. Then it goes on in the Tennessee River. Right. And, well, they use this water a dozen times all the way in, exactly. until it gets to the Mississippi River. Well, this is a rare occurrence because it hasn't yes. occurred that many times. No. I've worked with TDA now. It, it's just been bad all their new, uh, with all the nuclear plant, but the, the dams and, uh, and powerhouses like Kingston down here. Right. I was there when it first started in Kingston and uh, all the way down through Alabama. Everywhere they had jobs. Well, well, thank you very much yes, sir. for letting me uh, get you on my camera. Well, appreciate You're it. You're going to be on YouTube. I'll give you a card until you can find it.